Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 82 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> uh, that's right. In today's episode, I started a long, long journey in between episodes. It has been long and arduous and I'm still not finished. Uh, so, yeah, let's go see what I've been up to. <laughs> um, been a sad, sad. Before we get started, we need to take a moment <laughs> and realize those we have lost in between episodes. Uh, I wasn't as fast to sleep through the night as I should have been, and a Wilden Hunter spawned, must have spawned really close, and they killed Sheba. They killed Sheba. Uh, you know, if they would just damaged them a little, I could have healed her, but they just outright killed her. It's dead. I'm like, why? Why would you kill my cat? Uh, but yeah, Sheba is no more, so I will have to get another kitty. Now. Anyway. Um. So in between episodes, I thought it would be cool to set up some mechanism infrastructure and uh, convert over to uh, just mechanism to process all the ores that I have coming in. Uh, I did discover one thing, though, is that, let's see, how many items... There are items that won't, that can't be processed with mechanism. And this is, is it so far. All of these things uh, have to be dealt with in a pulverizer. So this one's clear. But yeah, I have to put all of these things. Of course, this is thermal series. Uh, all of these things were added by Thermal Series, except for, like, the coal. Um, and maybe the coal, it can all be... No, it can be put through the enrichment chain. Actually, I might want to do this. I do have an enrichment chamber set up. So, I mean, I've already got it at the pulverizer, so... Might as well, because it's no different. I'm still getting two coal. Uh, so, and plus I get sulfur and gravel as a side bonus for using the pulverizer instead of mechanism. <laughs> uh, so, there are lots of things. Uh, some of the stuff I could actually process with mechanism. Oh, I didn't go far enough. Uh, so, yeah. It's, I've been at this for hours and I'm still I'm still not done. Um, so <laughs> it, it does take a while to set this up. And what I did is I started with the basic metallurgic infuser and enrichment chamber just so that I could get uh, the basic things going. And then I built the basic infusing factory and... Uh, this is important because you want to make sure you're using the enriched versions uh, when you're, because these are so much better than a piece of redstone. Like you put one bit of redstone uh, in here, in the basic enriching factory, and it turns it into an enriched redstone and what the difference is is if you put one piece of redstone in here it will give you 10 millibuckets of redstone uh, but if you put an enriched redstone in here you get 80 millibuckets so it's it's huge and it's not just for the redstone it's also there's a coal version and a diamond version not exactly sure 
Oh, apparently there's enriched obsidian, enriched gold, and enriched tin. But I'm not sure what the enriched tin is for. Allergic confuser. So you, oh, you can make bronze this way. Infuse three copper dust with tin and you get bronze. That's interesting. That is pretty cool. But anyway, <laughs> that's not what uh, what I was wanting to do. Uh, I've got all this stuff set up, but I just went and got um, the water set up to where I can pull water out of the system. And I just went and added in the uh, industrial foregoing compact machine, there was actually an aqueous accumulator creating the water uh, for the latex machine. So I put a tank on it and an external storage bus on the water. So we should be able to have access to water anywhere on the system. So now I need to get an exporter. Go. Um, actually, I think all, all I need is to pump, pump water in. I just, I want to be consistent though. I want the end stuff to come through the top. <laughs> so let's do the side config for fluids input top. I already set it up. Awesome. Uh, Just need to set this up for fluids and aha there we go now this guy is uh pumping things out i i wanted to set this up but i didn't know which side the oxygen was going to go on so um What we can do now is tell it the light blue needs to go out to the left. Fluids. No, for the gases. And then we should start seeing... Oh, we need to tell it to take gases in on the right. Oh, wait. Did I set that up right? Gases. Well, that's energy. Uh, gases. There we go. Input. You know, go, bro. Okay, if you just click this, tell it to dump the excess. Uh, this one works for this side, and this one works for this side. You don't want to get rid of the oxygen, uh, but you want to keep getting the oxygen. Of course, uh, as long as this output, oh, I did the, the wrong, okay, so I don't want the blue, there we go. Now, now it should start processing all our bits. I just got it all set up. We happen to have just nine items uh, that I found so far. Um, they are listed as different things. Some of them say raw, silver, and some of them say chunks. So aluminum, uranium, uh, tin. Uh, but this will process a lot faster than our thermal series uh, 
and this is just the basic purifying factor and we get three slots to, to work with. And this is just, um, we mined this up with uh, our uh, laser drill. So we didn't really get fortune on this, um, but we can double it using this method uh, because we are getting two for each one. Okay, so this, I can get all of these little bits out of my pocket <laughs> and, and be able to set up the next step, which is we have to take, uh, what are those called, chunks, uh, pieces? No, uh, okay, let's do, There we go. Clumps. It's clumps. Oh. Okay, so now that we have the clumps, we just take those and put them through a crusher to get dust. And then we can take the dust and put it through an enrichment chamber. Oh, wow. Uh oh didn't know it was dirty dust. But we got another step <laughs> before we can actually smelt this uh, to get our stuff and things. Um, so we need a crusher and an enrichment chamber. I think I have a... Uh, what the good thing is, <laughs> is that I have actually been making sure all the machines that I make are uh, craftable. <laughs> so I set them up as I made them to be auto-crafted. So what step do we need to do next? Now that we have the clumps, we have to crush them. So let's go ahead and get a crushing factory. Do I have okay? And a smelting factory. Oh, and we gotta have the two buckets of lava. Narrator. Oh, Narr I narrator. No, narrator. No. Narrator. Dang it. Off. Stop it. <laughs> um I meant to do B so I could get my buckets. I did I guess I need I have my other buckets. Give me my buckets back. <laughs> there we go. Um, we just need to step out here and grab some lava real quick. <clears throat> Ta-da! All done. Um, I guess we could do this. Quick. Brush. Did need to crush the factory. So, oh, boop, boop. Yay, crushing factory. Uh, <laughs> this has taken me uh, a long time just to be able to make the crushing factory. Uh, let me see the. The last one that I just made with the, I guess, the purification chamber. Um, yeah, this is all my steps that I did. Um, infuser, enrichment chamber, and then I started making the basic factories so that there could it could speed up the process. <laughs> so let's go get this one taken care of. Basic crushing factory. Right. And once we get the whole process set up, I want to go through all the, the machines that are auto processing things and 
give them upgrades because I haven't even started in on the upgrades. I will, you know, automate those and uh, make it easier to, to get, uh, get the upgrades. Right, let's set this guy up. Uh, side config in through the top, out through the back. Eject. Let's turn it on. Um, we want it to auto sort. That means it can take in more than one item in the different slots. So you're not just getting all iron or all copper. It will smelt different things all at once if it if it needs to. Uh, so all we need to do is tell it to pull in all the clumps, and then it will have the uh, the dirty dust. So we need an exporter, exporter to put things into the machine, and then an importer to pull things out of the machine. Uh, importer, exporter. All right, now I need to get clumps. Clumps. Right now we only have those three the gold, the copper, and iron. Uh, because this guy is still working on all the stuff. See, I don't know why that all did. Ones. Okay. Oh, it's there. We go. Okay, so you have to turn it off in order to get the things. Okay, put you in there. All right, so right now, all we have are these clumps. So we'll go ahead and put them in there, and then they'll start producing. Oh, because I have all the clumps on me. That's why it's not sucking them in. There we go. Now we're getting the dirty dust. Uh, and we need to put that through... Oh, we got to have the enrichment factory assignment. Dirty. Dirty. Iron dust. Dust. And dust and these are used yes in the enrichment chamber so I should have the basic enriching factory and go ahead and do that and that'll just take a minute um, like, I know I wanted to process things quickly, but I also want to make sure these auto crafting machines are beefed up as well. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool that you get a visual representation of which, uh, which upgrades the machine accepts because they're, they're not grayed out. It's grayed out. Supported, not supported. So we could use speed, energy, and muffling upgrades. I don't like using the muffling upgrades. I think the machine sounds are uh, a basic part of mechanism. <laughs> like one of the cool things about mechanism is that their machines are loud and clunky, and it it makes it more like a feel of an actual factory. So they should, they should make noises. 
Awesome. Look at that guy go. Are we getting any different ores? So we're starting to get osmium and uranium now. Clump. Got some osmium clumps and some tin clumps and some uranium clumps. Only three more of that to go. Okay, I wonder if our enrichment chamber is done. Yes. Okay, now this one is going to be uh, the same setup. We just need an exporter to put things into the machine and an importer. Go <laughs> and this is all to get it. So put the order on the top and order back. We also got to set this guy up. Um, we want in through the top, out through the right. Uh, so we want the dirty dust to come in. Alright, so all we gotta do is hook this guy up. Haha! -ha. Yes. Now this should start producing our dust, which uh, now we can use the smelter that I've had made for two hours. <laughs> it's been sitting in my bag, unable to use it. Um, see if I can snag some dust. Oh, no, no, no. It's too fast. Okay, so we got some copper dust, some gold dust, and some iron dust. Nice. <laughs> Same setup. Exporter. Oh, we're almost done. I can feel victory in my grass. Uh, this is almost completed, and then we need an importer. We're almost there! Now, this is a much more complicated setup. It takes up a lot more room than thermal expansion. Uh, but it should be faster in in the long run once we get all our machines upgraded and we we'll be getting more stuff more stuff so export the dust into oh this one makes a really whiny noise oh my god oh, oh it's so good um i do need to check uh Make sure to get all of these populated to so get the clumps. Um, we got iron, tin, uranium. Did I get osmium? Oh, yeah, pretty sure I did. I just have to keep checking in on it. Uh, in its various prop stages of the process to it should have gotten everything because it's no longer pulling stuff in um, maybe it's making something other than clumps okay so let's do this that connect it does list the clumps, iron, uranium, tin, osmium. Iron, uranium, and osmium. So we already had the copper and the gold. What are we missing like 
Um, we're missing nickel, aluminum, and something else. Aluminum, oh, silver. Uh, and all of those are from different mods. So maybe they're not actually coming into the system. Um, let's check raw. Still have silver and nickel. Uh, so let's do a test. Can we actually put these things through? Basic enriching factory. Oh, that's uh, the wrong machine. We need to do the purifying factory. Ah, uh, it nickel will not go into this machine. Sad face. Um, how are we supposed to do that? Richmond chamber. Boop, boop, boop. So it looks like the pulverizer is in its future. So we can't uh, we can't put this one through a mechanism. And I'm I'm guessing the same will go for silver. The same for silver. My silver. Um, that leaves aluminum. Aluminum chunks. Yep. No, no go. No aluminum chunks. <laughs> so this is to do process six ores. Not all of them, just six. Um, so did we get, and we have all six of them here, which means we only need six of the dust there. Okay, so I will have to set these back up into the pulverizing system. Since we have to keep it uh, going for the other things, uh, might as well, right? So let's get these guys being processed real quick need to go up and tell it to start putting this into this chest. So just tell it to put the ores in there. And then it should take it through the machines. Huzzah! I was going to tear that down, but it looks like you actually, I actually need to have the pulverizer set up too. Awesome. Okay. Um, so we've got our dirty iron dust and it's getting turned into clean dust. Oh, why are you pulling out uh, items that's energy uh, in to the top, out through the back. Check on. There we go. Um, we might need to say it's been, yeah, it looks like it's catching up now. I was going to say we might need upgrades for some of these uh, importers, but it looks like it's catching up now. Especially once we upgrade them from basic to the next tier, we might have to uh, bump these, these guys up. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's check our iron levels. Oh, it's only 2,000 still. Uh, but once I get the foundation set for this, uh, for all our auto-processing, I can start beefing up 
and putting uh, putting upgrades in all of these machines to uh, make it go that much faster and then I can start adding more lasers to or more drills to the laser setup uh, and that will be good times so that'll mean we'll get more and more items coming in uh, so what I gotta do now is I gotta get the rest of these dirty uh, dust, dirty dust. We got some uranium, and we got some. You know what I did? Did I ever get lead? Ah, lead is super duper. Uh, this is from industrial contraption, so it might not go. Oh, it will go. Okay, let's let's teach it that then. Sweet. Okay, so it's seven instead. Um, is that coming in? Yes. And this is clumps. Let me make sure. I, I need to wait and get the the lead clump. By the way, I'm still having that bug where half the time when I open up my crafting grid, I can't pull things out. Like, or I will pull one thing out and then the next time I need something out, I have to close it <laughs> and go back in. So it's kind of annoying. Did I get in? In clumps. In clumps. Yes, I did get ten clumps. What are we missing on the clumps? I think just just lead. It should have gone through by now. Lead clumps. Oh, they're uh, they're white, so they look kind of like iron or tin. Black. <laughs> so that now let's look at the dirty ones we got some dirty uranium dirty osmium uh, so we need two more uh, dirty dust to get in there and we need four more dust uh, oh, that was, uh, yeah, I hit the wrong button. So let's look at dust. Um, I, I may need to, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's, like, some of them are grit. I don't know if this produces grit. Ah, silver grit and nickel grit. It has to be also processed. Ah. See, this needs to be processed in a furnace, well, or a smelter. Can't, oh, it can be put in just a normal smelter. Uh, so I guess we can have it uh, do those as well. So we got uranium dust. Oh, what? Oh, okay. One is a dust. One is a dirty dust. So I need to keep... Oh, this is osmium dust. It's not dirty. It's not dirty. Wait a minute. I'm um, doing this wrong. I need this stuff here. I didn't just mess that up, did I? Okay. We need to send the dirty stuff over here. We got dirty, dirty, okay, that is good. 
Um, I might make a new thing for this. Uh, we might have enough room. So I will put them over here. We have seven of these. I should have room for two over there. And it should pull everything in. Let's look and see. Did I miss any dirty? Dirty iron and dirty tin. Ah, dirty tin. I think we need one more iron, gold, copper, uranium, osmium, and tin. Oh, we need the lead, I guess. dirty lead dust. I should have dirty lead dust. All I got is clumps. Getting clumps. Did I not? There we go. Let's just, uh, get that in there so we can get the lead, the dirty lead dust. Oh, just went. Dirty lead dust. Boy, those are almost indistinguishable, <laughs> you know. Dirty lead dust. Uh, I think we can go ahead and put all this stuff in. That lead dust that gets put over here. Yeah, this is iron, gold, copper, uranium, osmium, lead. Copper. Oh, we're missing tin, I think. Tin is over here. over here so there should be dust and there we go and, a boot. and that should be everything everything should be set up yay we did it we did it finally done um and i will probably spend some time in between episodes just uh getting uh, getting the upgrade cards automated for our machines like speed upgrades and energy upgrades i probably won't do the muffling um one thing i would definitely want I don't think this, there is a gas upgrade, I think maybe it might be in this machine, yes, we definitely want to put this gas upgrade in this machine because it will vastly increase the efficiency of its gas usage, uh, since that's the only one we have, <laughs> uh, just in case our like our oxygen is, is really low here. Uh, so that would definitely help the situation with the oxygen. <laughs> Especially once we speed everything up, it's going to start using oxygen even faster. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of me. Um, trying to batter my way through mechanism. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!